We're going to do joint mobilization techniques for the first MCP joint today, so that's going to help with finger movement. So keeping in mind when you do all of your joint mobilization techniques, talk to yourself and remember which joint mobilization will help which movement. So we're going to do an anterior glide or a palmar glide at the first MCP joint, a posterior glide or dorsal glide at the first MCP joint, and then we're going to do a distraction of the MCP joint. Now, before we start, we always want to make sure we go through our checklist. So we make sure our patient is comfortable and in a good position for this. Their hand is nicely rested here, but that joint is going to be free of any blockage. The therapist is in a good position and we're going to make sure that our hands are placed in the right position for the joint mobilization and our direction of force is correct. For our stabilizing hand, we want to make sure that is proximal to the joint that I'm going to mobilize. So if this is my MCP joint, I'm going to reach through the web space so that I can secure the metacarpal proximal to the joint. I'm going to have my mobilizing hands distal to the joint, just distal to it, but not on it, so that I can mobilize that joint. Now, I have a little bit of a 20 degree flexed finger position for open pack, so that means that I have to angle my direction force in that same direction. Now, if I do an anterior or palmar glide, that's going to go towards the palm, and this is good for finger flexion. So as I hold, I can do my palmar or anterior glide in this direction, and I can always do any of my grades, one, two, three, or four. I use the same hand position to do a posterior or dorsal glide, which is going to help with finger extension. And now I will just pull into finger extension in this direction. And again, I can do any of the grades depending on the patient. Now, if I want to do a distraction, a distraction is good for all mobilization or all motions at this joint, but I need to move my direction of force. So I'm going to drop my elbow down a bit. I still maintain that 20 degrees of loose pack position, drop my elbow down. And now with my distraction, I'm going to actually gently pull perpendicular to that joint, hold, no oscillation with the distraction, and then I gently release so I avoid pinching the capsule. And again, that is good for all motions at that joint.